Greetings all, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to take a look at Scalar's core duration setting and how it impacts other parts of Scalar. We'll start by just clearing Scalar state, give us a clean default set for Scalar. Well, my default, not necessarily your default. And we're also using Scalar 2.5 today. So, core duration, you'll see that up here in the settings, playback, core duration. Default is four beats, I've got it set to one. The shortest is half, longest is 16. Now, where do you see core duration or what, is it, what does it impact? The, the most basic thing it impacts is how these playheads play the chords that you have in a given section. So for example, when I play this, you'll hear these play at one beat intervals. And if I would go and change that to, for example, two beats, or back to half beat, you'll notice also that I can make changes to settings, both up here in the toolbar or the, the dashboard, as well as in the settings pane while Scalar is playing. And that can get interesting for a number of reasons. We'll talk more about that at another time. So there's my half. Let's Set it to four. A little, little faster to three. A little faster to two. A little faster to one. And that. So we'll go ahead and leave it at two beats for now. We'll set it for two beats for now. So anywhere in Scalar where you see this play button, uh, section A, B, C, uh, that chord duration will determine the length at which each chord plays. Now, let's Take a look at the next place you'll see it, and that is inside a pattern when you're editing playback. So let's go ahead and create a pattern down here. We'll just grab these chords, drag them in, add one to the end, and let's go ahead and um, edit that chord. And we'll just, editing this chord, we'll just bump the octave up one just so it sounds a little better when we play it through. Okay, so we have a pattern down here. Now if we play this, let's go ahead and open up our a settings pane and we play this. There we go. So that's playing just one. We change that to one beat per chord. So now if we go into our edit mode, you'll see our playback timings. When you open edit mode, it'll probably look like this. You'll see chord voicings, playback timings, and performances. Voicings is about how the chord is structured. We'll talk more about it in another time. Playback timing, I'm sorry, uh, performances is uh, also we'll talk about another time, is controlling what chord is mapped to what performance setting. In this case, we're just going to talk about how duration plays out. So you see this row also labeled duration. And this, if it had a little more text, you could call it duration multiplier. As it appears, this is a multiplier of this number. So one times one, no change. If I would double this, let's say, let's take four. So I would basically have four beats, four times one. So if I play this, two, three, there we go. This four times one gives me my four beats. These guys are still set at one. I could go the other way. I could cut it down, right? And I could take it to half on, this, on these guys and then play that. So this is just a multiplier of whatever this is set at. Also, you'll see that this lets me, if I click on this, each time I click on it, it advances the default up here by one. Right? So you don't have to be jumping back and forth if you want to work with that. Bring it back around and we'll leave it at two beats. So duration is a multiplier. Repeat as it would appear, or as, it, as, it, as the word indicates, it's just going to repeat whatever this combination is set up to. So let's uh, let's set up this guy. So let's take this guy for example. So we've got 0.5 times two, that's one beat. And let's say we'd like to have it re repeat four times. All right, 
so let's take that back a little faster. So let's go. All right. So that's where repeat goes in. So why don't we take a look at the next place that Scalar uses chord duration.